This is Ivy Sports. I'm BJ Griffin. Week 11 football picks. Sorry these things are so late. We're going to start with the first game, Baltimore versus Carolina. I'm going to go with Baltimore. Next game, Buffalo versus Cincinnati. Buffalo getting the first win of the season last week against the Detroit Lions, who have a pretty explosive offense, believe it or not, despite their, their pretty bad record. Don't so much like how Cincinnati has been looking all season, although they're at home and their the pass game is pretty good. Buffalo has the seventh ranked pass defense. The pass defense not bad at all. So I'm actually gonna go with Buffalo here. Buffalo, pretty good run game also with Fred Jackson, even though CJ Spiller has been out. I believe he's he's questionable for for this for this week against Cincinnati. But I'm gonna go with the with the Buffalo Bills. Houston versus the New York Jets. Jets at home. Houston been playing pretty bad on defense, especially with their pass defense. They've had the worst ranked pass defense for a long time. New York Jets looking pretty good, pretty well-rounded offense, pretty good defense. I'm going to go with the Jets. Oakland versus Pittsburgh, pretty good matchup. Oakland coming off a bye, and before that they beat KC. Oakland been looking pretty good, looking like they could be a contender for, for a playoff spot or to win that AFC West division. But Pittsburgh's at home here. What, what Oakland is going to have to do if they want to win this game, they're going to have to be able to pass the ball with Gronkowski and Campbell. And I don't, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to do that. They have to limit mistakes. No picks, little no picks. They, the, the center of Oakland's offense is their big-time run game with Darren McFadden quietly rushing for, for a whole lot of yards. Top five, top five, top three rusher, I believe. And... Michael Bush, very good back behind him, but that no one really hits off a lot of run yards against Pittsburgh, so I'm going to go with Pitt here. I want to go with Oakland, but I'm going to go with Pittsburgh here. Next game, Detroit Lions versus the, Dallas Tech versus the Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys looking pretty bad all season, but last game, they actually beat the Giants. They, had, they brought in that new head coach, that, that temporary head coach or whatever, whatever they call him, and... Dallas Cowboys look pretty good against a very good New York Giants team. Well, a New York Giants team who made a lot of mistakes. So I'm going to go with Dallas here because they. I, I, I'm going to look for them to capitalize off the momentum they have against at, off the Giants win. Next game, Green Bay versus Minnesota. Minnesota, a lot of troubles. Green Bay looking coming off a of bye week looking pretty good even despite all the injuries that they've had Aaron Rodgers great passer I'm gonna go Green Bay Arizona versus KC I'm gonna go Kansas City Washington Redskins versus the Tennessee Titans I'm gonna go Tennessee Titans watch to take in the Eagles beat down we'll get into into Vic and all that in a second Cleveland versus Jacksonville I'm gonna go Cleveland Peyton Hillis that white boy can run <laughs> Seahawks versus New Orleans. I'm going to go with New Orleans. They're, they're also coming off a of bye week. Atlanta versus the Rams. I'm going to go Atlanta. Tampa Bay versus San Francisco. Tampa Bay pretty bad. Rush defense. San Francisco great run game in Frank Gore. Troy Smith looking pretty good passing for 350 yards, over 350 yards. I, I look for San Francisco at home. I look for them to, to win that game. Indy versus New England. Tough here. New England's at home. New England just got done beating down the Steelers, but they match up real well against the Steelers because beat the Steelers, you really gotta you really gotta be able to pass that ball because you're not gonna be able to chances are you're probably not gonna be able to run the ball too well. I like the way Indy's looking. Peyton Manning running that Indy offense as he always does. I'm gonna go Indy here, even though even though New England's at home. Big game here. New York Giants versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Michael Vick looking unstoppable against the Redskins defense, although their defense probably isn't the best when you have Albert Hainsworth laying on the ground and plays he should be trying to make and, and all that nonsense. The question is, how do you stop Michael Vick? Before, if you stop him from running, you could you could beat the whatever offense he was running, but now he can pass the ball too. He can pass the ball real well. It's, it's going to be hard, but you know what? If I think any team, if any team can do it, I think the Giants can, and it's, and this is because their their defensive line, very good defensive line in the New York Giants, and they're gonna have to get to stop Michael Vick. They gotta put him on his back, and they have to get instant pressure. And of course, that's easier said than done, since he you know he's running all over the place and he's passing all over the place. But uh, 
you know, hard game to pick, sort of, because there's, a, there's, there's ways you go up both. Philly at home, Philly on a roll, Michael Vick looking unstoppable, and once again, his, the connection he has with his receivers, Deshaun Jackson and, and McClain, and Macklin, excuse me, I mean, it's, it's hard to pick against the Eagles right now. I, if, they, if they stay healthy, they have a, a real good chance to go deep into the playoffs. I'm going to go with the Philadelphia Eagles. Final game, Monday Night Football, Denver Broncos versus the San Diego Chargers. San Diego, real good offense, real good defense. They had the top ranked in both for, for a while. Phillip Rivers, probably a, a big contender for the MVP spot because he's just he's making something out of nothing. He's making no-name receivers look just like all-star level. I mean, he is he's real good. Although, you know, I really never wanted to like Philip Rivers cuz I personally I don't like his his persona or how he how he acts on the field. He kind of he kind of seems I don't know. I mean, I think a lot of you know what I mean, but uh yeah, I'm going to go with San Diego here, San Diego at home also, so that's another big reason to pick him. I'm going to go San Diego. That's it for my week 11 football picks. Make sure to subscribe, follow us on Twitter, check out our football picks every week on Ivy Sports.